play, champion? One, two, three, four. Welcome, people, another day. What's it gonna be? What are we spreading around out there? What are we doing? What is it we're doing? It's a wild time to be alive. Admit it, minimum, it's a wild time to be alive. It's the weirdest time in history to be alive. Of course, I'd be here for it. Of course, I would be. April 5th, 2020. 49 is your numerology. 13, special number. Angel number 13 is a message from your angel that you are being guided and assisted with your soul mission. Trust the angels and the ascended masters. They're by your side while you're going through the transition. Everybody's going through a transition, right? It's funny, we're funniest people. We'd like to go somewhere else, but we can't leave where we are. So transition is in our strong suit, have you noticed? I got this cream down at Mary's Miracle Cream. Have you ever tried? This is called Lips Nine. Now, this is a real deal for my lips. I love Lips Nine. But what I'm really amazed at is she has this product called Illumination. It puts it on your skin and you ever have something you just can't get rid of? Try this bit. Try this one. Try this right out. This is something. It leaves like a guardian or something on you. It's, it, it's like a shield of some sort. But this right here is the real deal. This is called Abracadabra. There you go. Over Mary getting new ideas. Has a little menthol and you want to rub down? Get yourself some Abracadabra. Get her going. Of course, personalized, personalized. Lips nine. You know it. We all know it. The aliens know it. All right? what they call me when they call lip sign. Let's get back to 13. Special message. Trust that the angels and the ascended masters, they're guiding you. They're bringing you to where you're supposed to be. Get in the game, you can't see them. All right, everything, oh, let's talk about the opposing force. You guys wanna talk about the negativity? You wanna talk about the government? You wanna talk about who's doing it to us? You wanna talk about the minus polarity? Or do you wanna talk about what's been going on behind the scenes while you weren't paying attention? I got a couple funnies for you, really funny. Someone said to me, you can stick it where the sun don't shine. So I took it to Alaska. You don't challenge me. I went iPod touch shopping the other day. I got to the counter and said, please don't touch. I got confused and I walked away. So it went down. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Well, here's something I came up with in my lab, it's pretty neat. This free shipping thing is a lot bigger than I thought. It goes a lot deeper. You ever hear about the rabbit hole? I think we're somehow programmed to believe that we can't afford to not purchase this item due to the free shipping. When you, when you can't afford not to do something, you do it. So, where do you go free shipping? I know some new U.S. postal trucks. Neato. Remember the little square ones? They got vans now. Look at them going around. It's going to be nothing but delivery trucks soon, please. No cars on the road, please. Only, are you delivering something? You're not allowed to drive unless you're, everything's on, on delivery. Bring it right to the door. Go ahead. Hello, guy in the mask carrying my food. Thank you for that. That's very nice of you. I got this from Doreen Virtue today. Doreen Virtue, you know, the angel practitioner. Good, good one. She's a, she's a good one. You want to learn about the angels? Check out Doreen Virtue. If you're unsure what to do next, if you're unsure, ask the angels. That seems pretty simple. But you have to hold it for 17 seconds. You got to talk to your angel for 17 straight seconds. I know it'll be a record, but 17 seconds is the first level of creation. If you can get your angel into your intention, into your conversation for 17 seconds, you activate the first level 
of the greatest law, the most powerful law in the universe, the law of attraction. And that law now brings you a scene just like the one you just said. Now check it out. Go 217s, it's 34. Yeah, carry the one. You got 34. You're on second level. Another one comes to you. Yeah, you gotta make it to the last 168. It's 417s. It's combustion. I'm like, okay, I'm really gonna. I mean, I'm gonna have to focus for 68 seconds. Is that what you're telling me? Then I got to bring myself into a focus for 68 seconds. Holy, we'll start slow. Can you get three seconds in? And then four, then five. 68 straight angelic talking messages with the angels, and you will be in what is called, in universal terms, the combustion point. Yeah, they wanted me to stick it where the sun don't shine. I was thinking about the USSR, but there's a whole passport and a whole thing. Deal, so I just took it to Alaska. I'd do it again. I'd do it again. All right, so here's how it goes. Here's what I'm finding out. Thanks for having me on. No kidding about this. Talk to Mary about it. She'll send you a lip sign. See what happens. Put some skin stuff on your skin. Something that you can't get rid of. Something ridiculous. Does anybody out there have something just ridiculous on your skin? We want to use you as a promo. You get that ridiculous thing. We put this cream on it. And we see what happens. We already know what's going to happen, so... Send them in. The more ridiculous, the, the better. Freddy Krueger it. Bring it all the way in. Just bring it all the way in. All right, so it's called Mary's Miracle Cream for a reason. We don't know how much miracle it is. I don't know if it can fix Freddy Krueger, but it'll take, take down a rash like it's nobody's business. It'll take down other things, too. So, just, there you go. This is for you, Mary's Cream. Way to go, way to, go to work with us. All right, so I'm checking this out today. Here's what I found out, I found out about it. It's weird, and this is the training material. And there's two parts of us, as you know, the, the low man and the high man, or the dark man and the light man, or the devil and the god, or the ego and the higher self. Right, there's two of them going on here. And the, the ego or the low man, the one that makes all the decision, it lives in the place called fear and judgment because it comes from its fearful beliefs. And it's so sold on those beliefs that it sits in fear of it. It prides itself in being divided from others. It's very proud of it. It's so proud of its unique and better and special way. So to maintain this illusion, it's necessary for the low man, the ego, the devil, the dark, the minus, to target other people's egos. Yeah, that's what it's doing. To see similarity or to hold comparison is threatening to the low man's fortification mission. The ego has built strong walls of judgment to protect it from noticing that other people's egos are identical to itself. It can't take, the, you can't handle the truth. That's what's going on. The ego can't handle the truth of what is really going on, that you're seeing yourself. For God's sakes, I see why you're not in charge anymore, and you're fired. You're fired. Who is? The ego. Well, you can't fire the ego. He's in charge. Well, what can I do with him? You can do something. You can do something. You can educate it. You can educate it that why don't we take low man and stop being a dick and reconnect to the high man? Why don't we team up with that? Why don't we try that? Why don't we try living the laws of the universe? I wrote this down today from the studies in the conversation with God. Mastery students understand the cost of judgment. They understand the cost. Prickly as a mother. Judgment is out. Jesus said it. It's dangerous. The opposite is acceptance. What happens, you judge somebody and that judgment comes all the way back around and bites you like a Rottweiler right in the bum. All right, that works. Judgment is a bum biter. You want your bum bit? Just look at someone and judge them. Because what we're looking at is ourselves. But we're trained to judge them. So you have to retrain ourselves for God's sakes. Why do we have so much to do? Can't we have a little less to do? I'm putting in for that. I'll get back to you. Less to do.
Nothing so far. I got it now. Who can you compassionately forgive? How far can you take it? This is it right here. Here's your game. How far can you take forgiveness? How far? Who can you forgive? Can you, can you forgive the, the least in society? I, f I wrote it down. There's four levels of forgiveness. One, foe, forgiveness. You know the noodles? It's when you forgive someone, but you don't mean it. You, you don't. You, you don't. Why don't you just say you don't mean it? Everybody, everybody knows you don't mean it. You're the only one that doesn't know you don't mean it. I can't even believe I'm in a conversation with you that you do mean it. It's so far from real. She's so fake. And now the judgment comes on the foe forgiveness. Could we end it somewhere? Number two, forgiving from judgment where you're forgiving. You know why? Because you're the bigger one. Forgiveness number two. Because I'm taking the high road. Someone's going to have to be the bigger man. Forgiveness number three comes from the heart. You know, right where the Lord lives. That's where it lives. That's where it lives. Just get in the game. You know? You don't have to believe it lives there. You can pretend that God doesn't live in your heart. Everybody else does it. Seven people, billion, seven billion people on the planet, almost all of them do not know the location of the Lord. They don't know it's in your heart. They're looking outside. We're looking past Pluto. We're trying to find it in another galaxy when it's right down in our left ventricle. The Lord is in your heart. For God's sakes, is this that hard? Right in the heart. Forgiveness from the heart, number three. Compassion, compassion for the person. For you know mistakes happen, you know you're full of bumblies. I'm like, I've been giving out free passes based on my life. Anything I did in my life, I'm like, I should give people free passes based on the things I've done. So they do something, I go, free pass. How's a free pass sound? For what? For that thing a long time ago. Free pass. You get yourself a free pass. On what? Everything! It's what I want, it's what I choose, it's what I'm getting. Free shipping with it, too. Number four, forgiving from spiritual truth. Forgiveness. Because you know that errors are illusions, therefore, they did not occur, so forgiveness makes no sense whatsoever. Nice puzzle!